What is up you guys? Today we are talking Ferrari and we are talking the brand new Roma which is right behind where at a launch here because obviously as you know the Geneva Motor Show was cancelled so they're launching this car here. I'm with Misha, Misha okay. on wheels who you guys probably know quite well and we just thought we'd give you a quick walk around of the brand new Ferrari, the latest in the lineup from the Italian brand. Now this is a completely new model, a GT to sit between the Portofino and the 488. Yeah, a little bit towards the GT Cruiser yeah. style. Exactly. It's a cruiser, a long distance cruiser. It's very, very pretty in the flesh and they've done a fantastic job with the design, but it's completely redesigned. So new rear light, the exhausts are classic Ferrari, but it's got this very sweeping rear, quite Aston Grand Tour like, but um, sort of with a Ferrari touch. Yeah, talking GT, so obviously you, you need space. So it's got quite a big boot. You can fit two nice bags in there and you can also put the rear seats down to be able to utilize the two plus two sort of display or the interior so that you can have bags, bags around back uh, as well. Yeah. Yeah, spec sheet, classic Ferrari. You always have your spec sheet on the back of the car. This one's got quite a few specs, as you can tell. It's quite a long list. We're literally just going to walk around it. So I really like this modern design of the lights. It looks quite sort of concept car-like from the back. They've done a really nice job with that. Now it comes standard with carbon ceramic brakes. This one's got the yellow brake calipers. But this car's actually got twin turbos. So it's a V8, twin turbo V8. 620? 620 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds. So it is a GT, but it's also very, very quick. Yeah, but we're super fast. It's not like a that. super fast. That's the new super fast, <laughs> the GTS. But yeah, new door handles, new doors. Oh, pops. Yeah, it makes like a proper opening sound. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty like cool. It pops up. But the interior is where all of the new things happen. So if you hop in passenger side, I'll hop in here and we can see just quite how much they've redesigned the interior. So Ferrari, it's been a long time coming for them to redesign interiors because it's been the, the same for many, many years and they haven't really redesigned it. it. It's very nice. So first things on the door card, you can tell that it's a button to open the door. So it's no longer a door handle. It's just a button which you click there and that opens the door for you. You've got a JBL sound system, carbon fiber, but all around carbon on the door sills and the side skirts as well and then it's full alcantara so yellow stitching yellow piping and then leather on the top half of the interior full leather and then the bottom half is all alcantara and they've done a really good job with this interior by keeping it sort of classic ferrari throwing back to the older cars but then with all the modern stuff exactly so you've Everything. got passenger screen, display yeah. here so there you can control sound navigation so the passenger can just do that in front of them they can also have a display on what gear i'm in uh, how fast i'm going look how all it's of all these central. different things like i'm sitting you know like yeah, all around me. It's you've all got equal, sort of, you exactly. Know, so it's all the same. You've got Just your own cockpit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And right. then behind you, there's actually two little seats. Yeah. Not very big, but two little seats for you to be able to have kids. Oh yeah, there's a little thing for your perfect. iPhone there. Fits perfectly for the yeah. iPhone. You can have friends if it's on a short trip. You can pop them around back, or you can put them down to put luggage. So you can go long distance cruising. But then it's very, you know, beauties and simplicity. So it's very simple around here. But this is a throwback to the old gated gear shifters in Ferraris. So you've got all of these buttons to select select what you're doing gearbox wise so to go into reverse you click that to go into auto or manual is down here obviously you select first gear through the paddles here which are really nice and solid and then also launch control which you click right there or low gear <laughs> I think it's launch control <laughs> everything's touch so you got your hazards but then this screen above it is a touch screen where you can control anything from your radio that's your SOS button right there which you don't want to click you don't want to have to ever click that so yeah touch screen here now which is really really nice you can have your navigation your Apple CarPlay and all of the above there and it continues to the touch theme with these lights so all you do is you click that light and then it goes off bit by bit so you've got four little reading lights which are all touch and work really well actually they've done a really nice job with that and it's a completely reinvented driver zone they call it so this is the full carbon fiber driver zone so carbon fiber steering wheel with the shifter lights on the top of the the steering wheel classic Ferrari and then the steering wheel is inspired by the old one but completely new design so you've got behind the steering wheel only these paddles massive carbon fiber paddles and if you listen to the noise very solid feeling so obviously it's matched to a dual clutch gearbox but then everything's kind of been reinvented so it's all touch so these are little LEDs for your driver mode so it's the Manatino right there to go from race wet sport oh something just started up in a really sporty manner um, but then everything is now fully touch so whether it's to answer a phone call do your voice commands or navigate through what's on the dashboard which we'll talk about in a bit this is I believe for your windscreen wipers the mode that they're in and then you got your lights here as well so it's pretty cool to have everything straight on the steering wheel it takes some getting used to but what they've done now is actually the indicators you can either press with your thumb or you can pull them down back like that with your finger so it's a bit more of a natural feeling compared to the usual indicator stalks you've got a nice little beauty mirror there to be able to look at which has beautiful 
yellow stitching. Doesn't have a light though, does it? Yes, it does. Oh, it does have a light. Yeah, a little oh, yeah. LED. Little, little LED there. LED strip. But where things get really interesting is with this digital dash. So the digital dash has been completely reinvented, and you can have your sat nav, you can have your car display, you know, your your odometer, your driving distance, average speed, maximum speed. But then when you have the sat nav up there, it's a full screen display. So it takes up the entire screen, and you can have your sat nav, and that's a really really cool design. Very clear, and the way it's coupled with this opening in the steering wheel it just means you can see it really easily. So that's what it looked like as you were going up in the revs. So you can see that you got your sat nav there. You got your sound as well, uh, whatever you're playing. But then it should show us the satellite navigation display because it's really nice, really clear. So when you're connected to Apple CarPlay, you can also see your phone battery down there, how much signal you've got. So all the information is here and it's the first time that it's a fully digital dash on this and the SF90. Because usually the rev counter is analog, but now they've gone full digital with this. And it actually looks really nice. It's really clear the way they've done it. And then there you go, there's the sat nav which is huge, so really clear if you're driving through town, easy to see, and then you can have it also with your revs like that up above. So they've done a really good job, even the buttons for the lights here are all touch, and it's really nice, so they've changed even the air outlets for the uh, heating. Uh, key pocket. I yeah, think. key yeah. pocket, cup holder, little iPhone, storage yeah. area down here. You've got a glove box, yeah. big glove box. They thought about everything, and it's actually big. Everything's actually spacious. Spacious, like, and you this. can use it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then down here, you've got another little pocket where you can store some stuff. No, it's a really, really nice design they've done a really good job with this but then if we go outside we can see actually the front because the design is new out there as well so if you close this door with that new door handle which you kind of dig into really nice design so then you got these nice rims as well and then round front again very classy and the grill is a throwback to the classic Ferraris as well so they've done a good job you really like that don't you you're I love it. It's, it's really it's nice different. it's classy yeah and we haven't really seen it before on Ferrari and then it's obviously complemented by a little carbon splitter down here and this I think may even move for the aerodynamics of the car so you can see that there's loads of air inlets one here one there that's to go and cool down the brakes no it looks really nice with the LEDs as well they've done a good job they're not on on this side but they are on this side it looks really really classy so no awesome car I mean thank you of course to Ferrari Geneva for inviting us here this is kind of like a client only viewing so we're really lucky to be here so it's really nice of them to host us and I just wanted to get the camera out and give you a quick little tour of the car hope you enjoyed it Misha, thank, thank you so you much. Oh, there's a laugh. <laughs> La Ferrari just driving out there. Just cruise by. That was nice. That's probably Classic. what we heard start up. Classic Geneva, yeah. Anyways, guys, subscribe to Misha. He's got a channel as Cheers, well, guys. English and French. And we'll be seeing you again soon. Give a thumbs up to this video if you enjoyed it. And thanks as always for watching. Cheers. Bye-bye.